I have never um, done this before to my hair. Um, somebody has done that to my hair though. Somebody has cut off some of my hair. Oh my God, oh Lord, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it, man. Bro, I feel so bad. You wanna keep it? When that happened to me, I really didn't like it. I really didn't like the fact that, you know, some part of it was missing. And to be specific, it was this one right here. There's two of them uh, that had formed into a Congo, and now they're in two strand twists. For each journey I had went to, it had been some kind of obstacle that I had to get over, it seemed like. And this journey that I'm in brought me to this point where I'm at today, you know? I don't blame anybody but myself. To be honest with you, I give you guys a voice to say whatever you guys vote, I do. And uh, if I'm not a man of my word, then how can you trust me to subscribe to me, you know? It's kind of like one of those things, if, if you're just not a man of your word, nobody would trust you wherever you go. You know, there's too many people out here in this world and few people to trust. How are you gonna be that person that somebody can trust? Especially being on social media. You have to keep your word, man. What you say, you have to do. And some people might comment like, you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that. But you know how many people would lose trust in me? If I hadn't delivered the blue that I had set, if I hadn't delivered the silver platinum that took a toil on me to get it done, I found another way to get it done, but still I had to do it. Even when I had to cut this one off, you know, I had to keep my word. I literally bet my dreadlocks thinking that I can beat somebody in basketball. You know, sometimes ego can get in your way. And with all the obstacles that I've been through, you know, I've gone here. The sad part about it, because there's a good part about it. The sad part about it is that I have to continue to do this to my hair. The great thing about it is I like doing it. Yeah. I do. I do. I do. I, I, I do. It's crazy, but I do like it. Why do you like it? Um. I don't think anything is impossible if you really put your mind into it. And my next goal uh, for my hair has arrived. Cut the crap, man. Tell them what. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them what's going. On. Hey, hey. Tell them what's going on, man. All right, guys. Okay, let's stop the cap. You know what I mean? I am cutting my trims, or I'm cutting the trims of my. I'm trimming or cutting the tips of my dreadlocks because I ended up not liking them, and I don't want to do all of them single-handedly to try to make them look like they're blunt tips. Uh, if you're at, you know, starting your dreadlocks or something like that, it might be good for you. I'm looking at a mirror, by the way. It might be good for you because, or blunting your tip might be good for you. But later on, it comes a time to where you trim your ends. And this goes with any of uh, any type of hair. You have to trim ends. Trimming your uh, ends of your hair is actually healthy for you. So don't don't fr don't freak out. Don't think that you know, cut off some dreads. But you know what I mean. That's why I say some dreads. Did I say that in the thumbnail? Uh, description maybe the title maybe uh, hopefully I did and if you don't then you know me from the heart that I want to do something like this at this early stage that we're at this is only two and a half years and why would I cut my dreadlocks over a frizzy look that really upset me I'm not gonna just cut off my dreads and quit come on man we have a next journey to go to we dine in a new color man tell them what it tell them activers tell them what that is really about this tell that this whole thing is like you know a joke okay and if you thought I was gonna cut off my hair yeah I still I am gonna cut some of my hair but it's not gonna be the entire of it because we have a journey to go to so if your heart was hanging from a thread this whole time fear not my friend all I'm doing is a trim of my hair that looks pretty good let's do it to the rest of the dreadlocks alright guys see like I said, man, this is all a joke. I'm just trimming my hair for one reason, and that is basically my ends are dead. They fried, they butchered, they had the worst. 
of my whole entire dreadlocks because a lot of things happen when you're having a dreadlocks when you're growing a dreadlocks one of the things is that you get frizzy locks or you know your ends look like you know who done it unto who and you don't know what is going on why that's happening and I'm gonna tell you guys what is really simply happening it's easy to figure out and that is basically throughout the time of your hair uh, the bottom of your hair is the heaviest part of your hair so or the bottom of your hair holds a lot of moisture or a lot of um, water whenever you're washing your hair uh, which which actually does the undoing of the bottom of your locks they are really not supported by anything else that's why curliness happened at the end of your dreadlocks and if you want to trim it it's actually healthy as long as you're not doing it too often and as long as you're doing it with the right measures you can't just be chopping off your dreadlocks in half and calling it trim just trim my locks some people do that because they don't like their locks to be too long I think I like mine where it's at today I think that's the perfect length of dreadlocks after this I think it just starts to get a little annoying but we will see uh, after the trim where we gonna end up to so this is the before of the trim I see some of them are curling up like this one right here crooked 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 and I don't want to take the time really it's not trying to take the time but it's gonna end up coming out later on anyways uh, I've done this before I've actually unattached I've actually like found a hair that um, that I wanted to attach like this one time I don't know what how it fell out or anything like that I just found like a, a very loose piece that was coming off so I try to attach it like this and crochet needed it and I did it really well but as time went on it started working its way down and it was literally came out when I was when I was washing my hair literally fell on the floor and I'm like and that the one that I attached so I was really surprised by it, it kind of shook me but at the same time I figured out oh that's the hair it's not just a new hair that came out so that's why it's good to uh, trim your end so we're gonna do that right now and the way you can tell is it's like it's not locked is so like you can see the swirling the curliness of it and so you just grab your, you know, scissor and you just like cut it. And when I cut it, I try to make sure that I'll take out any, you know, extra hair that got cut that didn't belong to the dreads. And uh, kind of do a little bit of trim up at the end to make sure it's good, that more doesn't come out. And that's it, basically. And so now I'm gonna do that. For the other ones. And uh, if you have small or short dreadlocks, you may not be able to afford to do this. Afford it doesn't mean like, you know, afford it like money wise, but afford it doesn't like, you know, your hair is too short for you to cut off any more, any more hair. So I understand it, you know? So you shouldn't trim, you know, like I said, often. And also if you're like under a year or so, don't even worry about trimming yet. Uh, truly don't worry about it. I think the whole, th this is my first trim ever. I think I've trimmed uh, maybe one or two or something like that, but yeah. And so my hair is not gone nowhere. You know, like, it's not like, or if you don't trim your hair, like, you're causing your hair to damage and your whole dreadlocks will fall out. No, it doesn't work like that. With dreadlocks, it's a different system. The process is much slower, and that's why you, sh you shouldn't even wash your dreadlocks a lot, a lot. Uh, you should just wash it enough, and if you wash it, you can wash it also with a shampoo. Uh, you don't have to try to go super gentle because you have dreadlocks or something like that unless you know you're starting off if you're starting off go gentle with your wash and everything but if you have your locked hair like this you can literally wash out you wash your normal hair uh, but i do not recommend it to wash overly uh, because then you will not be helping it you'll be working against it um and washing your hair does or putting water in your hair does help with the locking process and everything uh but overdoing it does not help it it just messes it up it messes your um, especially if you have lines like me, sections and stuff like that, will actually end up messing that up. So don't worry about, you know, trimming your hair if your hair is short. But if it's not, go for it. If it, if you ha hadn't done it yet, uh, do it like once a year, maybe half, twice a year or so. Uh, taking off just half an inch. That's all I did. Um, maybe for one or two, I had to take off a little bit more, like this, for example. Just because it was done, you know what I mean? Look at this. This was where I cut it from. And this is the tip of it and so you can see by here that this this is done you know 
And uh, unless something like that, don't worry about it. This is all the hair that I trimmed right here. I'm gonna show you. This is all the hair that I trimmed, you know? So don't worry about it, like I said. Don't be afraid uh, to trim your hair. It's just this out of my whole dreadlocks. So I'm not even tripping, um, but that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. But till next time, keep back to the universe and creating your universe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't get mad at me, man. Hit the like button, for real, for real. Show some love. If you guys hit the like button, it actually does help it with the algorithm, which means the algorithm is basically what tells YouTube that people are enjoying this content. Let's push it out to other people. So I'm not asking you for anything but for you to do that. So thank you. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for 30K. New hair coming soon.